Good morning, my brothers and my sisters. Welcome back to another word of encouragement, your health tip, and a prayer with Dr. Deborah Williams, aka Dr. Debs. I greet you well from the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes, the kingdom of God came with Jesus over 2,000 years ago. Repent. The kingdom of God is here. God is calling sinners to come home. Jesus Christ's blood paid the price, the redemption price. Remember, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Jesus, the last Adam, came and he undid what the first Adam did in the Garden of Eden when he sinned against the law of God. Jesus came as the Son of Man and the Son of God, and he obeyed the laws of Jehovah. He imputes and imparts to us his justification and his righteousness. Brothers and sisters, there is no need to be a captive of Satan. Jesus came to set all the captives free. And whom the sun set free is truly free indeed. So I'm celebrating. I was once in the camp of darkness. Jesus came for me. I accepted. I am now filled with his Holy Spirit. And I'm in the kingdom of God with Jesus. Recruiting men and women to come out of the camp of darkness. Come out of slavery of Satan. And come to the king who loves you. Who died to set his captives free. Praise he the Lord. Now this morning as we continue our word of encouragement. Our devotional, ye shall receive power. Power from who? The Holy Spirit. Jesus sent the greatest gift from heaven to earth to help mankind. We must pray every morning, brothers and sisters, on your knees as you wake up. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Consecrate yourself to God and be a kingdom child. Jesus died to give it to you. It's your inheritance, but you have to receive it. Now, as we look at our devotional by Helen G. White, He Shall Receive Power, I am now at March 2. And the theme for March 2 is repentance, the first fruit. Our scripture reading comes to us from Psalm 51, 1 and 2, which says, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Now, those of us who know our Bible well, we know that's David calling out to God after what he did with Bathsheba and killed Bathsheba husband. Yes, the great David. Man can slip. The only perfect being is God. But yet God's call us to be perfect even as he is perfect. But we have to receive the Holy Spirit and stay connected. Do not leave God. The reading goes on to say in the devotional, repentance is one of the first fruits of saving grace. Our great teacher in his lessons for the erring, fallen man presents the life-giving power of his grace, declaring that through this grace, men and women may live the new life of holiness and purity. He who lives this life works out the principles of the kingdom of heaven. Taught of God, he leads others in straight paths. He will not lead the lame into paths of uncertainty. The working of the Holy Spirit in his life shows that he is a partaker of the divine nature. Every soul thus worked by the Spirit of Christ receives so abundant a supply of the rich grace that beholding his good works, the unbelieving world acknowledges that he is controlled and sustained by divine power and is led by the glory of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The reading goes on to say, there are those who notwithstanding all the gracious invitation of Christ, continue to reveal ungodliness in their lives. To such ones, God says, quote, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Question, God is asking those who have gotten the invitation, the Holy Spirit has been calling you, you're not coming. And God is calling out, how long, how long? 
He simple ones, will you love simplicity? Turn ye at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Proverbs 1, 22, 23. Repentance for sin is the first fruits of the working of the Holy Spirit in the life. It is the only process by which infinite purity reflects the image of Christ in his redeemed subjects. In Christ, all fullness dwells. Science that is not in harmony with him, Jesus Christ, is of no value. He teaches us to count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, our Lord, our Adonai, our King. This knowledge is the highest science that any man can reach. Praise the Lord. End of reading. That comes from the SDA Bible Commentary, Volume 6, page 1068 by Helen G. White. You know, it is such a beautiful um, life to live every day knowing that you're in the presence of God. To know that the devil cannot control you and he has no power over you. To give your life to this wonderful Savior, Jesus Christ, who was the Son of Man and the Son of God, who gave his life and died to redeem all mankind from our sins. When I see people on the highway and byway of life now, whether at the airport, you know, on the road, in the supermarket, at the gas station, wherever I go. What I see now are candidates for heaven. I see brothers and sisters who, because of sin in the Garden of Eden, have lost their way. And so I have learned now to constantly pray. I remember when I read in the Bible once where it says, we're to pray without ceasing. I often wondered, how do I pray without ceasing? But the more I study the Bible and I understand that the Holy Spirit is here calling men and women out of darkness, so everywhere I go, I am constantly praying. And then I understand now what it means to pray without ceasing. Always interceding because heaven can make a difference on earth. But we, as God's redeemed children, we must intercede on behalf of each other. So if that's the case and you're living a life completely surrendered to God, you always have something to pray about, never failing. Now I want to look at all of psalm 51 as we look at david's heart david's heart uh, yielding to god david's repentance after he killed barsi barsheba slept with her committed adultery right and then on top of the adultery he goes and he creates this craziness to kill her husband to try and hide his sin adding sin upon sin upon sin Sin will always find you out, brother and sister. We don't hide behind sin. We repent of the sin and come to the Lord and ask for forgiveness. And then ask for power to put it away. Here David, as David went through his repentance, after God sent the prophet to him to tell him, David, you have sinned against me. You have brought shame to my name. And God said, I've forgiven you, but there's going to be a curse on your family for what you have done. Hear the voice of David calling out as the Holy Spirit was with him. David says, Psalm 51, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou hast made me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. 
restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit then says david god after you have delivered me after you give me back your holy spirit after you have taken away the chain and the burden of sin from me here david now in verse 13 then will i teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee deliver me from blood guiltiness O God, thou God of my salvation and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O God, thou will not despise do good in thy good pleasure unto zion build thou the walls of jerusalem then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness with burnt offering and whole burnt offering then shall they offer bullocks upon thy altar praise he the lord i know in my journey as a christian for the last 17 years that there are times when i've had to open psalm 51 and pray to god when you see yourself doing something that you know you're not supposed to be doing, but you just can't seem to stop it. And you call out to God and say, God, break this from me. Break the cultivated and inherited tendencies to sin. Take these things away from me, Lord. Give me a new heart. Give me your Holy Spirit. Make me to walk in thy laws. Help me, Lord, to walk in thy righteousness. Brothers and sisters, when you pray this prayer, God will never walk away from you. He will always be there to say, yes my child here i am i am your strength and your redemption and your fortitude i will give you power here receive my holy spirit god will always answer father thank you for the anointing of your holy spirit thank you for giving us what we lost in the garden of eden because of disobedience and sin you have given us back your holy spirit now let your Holy Spirit take possession, Father, of all of your children on the earth. The Holy Spirit is going throughout the world, calling men and women out of darkness into light. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. But men love darkness. But I pray this morning, Lord, as I cover myself, my family, brothers and sisters all over the seven continents of the planet called earth, that indeed, Heavenly Father, that your blessing will be upon your children. And men and women will turn away from the devil's darkness. And they'll turn to Jesus Christ, your darling son, who came to give us life and give it to us more abundantly. This is our prayer with thanksgiving in Jesus' name, Father. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your long suffering. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is good. God is great. And God is wonderful, my brothers and sisters. Now for our health tip. I am continuing the journey looking at the herbs and their health benefits. Why? Because you need to know. <laughs> you need to know what herbs God has placed on the planet to help you when you get sick. Psalm 104 verse 14. And God has given us the herbs for the service of mankind. Ezekiel 47 verse 12. And God has given us the fruits as our meat, which is our food, and the leaf of the trees for our medicine. So God has already told us. That all of the phytochemicals and the antioxidants and the elements in the plants are here for the blood transfusion. They cleanse the blood, right? They cleanse the blood because they're high in minerals. We were made from the dust of the ground. And so the minerals in the earth are the very minerals we need in our earth suit, our bodies to keep us healthy. All right, now, the two herbs I'm sharing today, one is called Echinacea and the other one is called Eye Bright. Two herbs that I use a lot in my office with my patients. Let's look at echinacea first. Now, echinacea is a beautiful word. And the way I always teach my patients to spell it is E-China-C-E-A. So it is C-H-I-N-A-C-E-A. -E and the easiest way to remember it is E-China-C-E-A. Echinacea. All right, now, let us look at the benefits of this plant. Echinacea is the most effective blood and lymphatic cleanser of all the herbs. 
and it is tolerated by the system in fairly large amounts. The plant is apparently non-toxic, although in some people it may cause mild dizziness and nausea for a time. But combining it with a small amount of licorice root or making the tea with two to three dates, you know, the sweet, the dry dates, right, will reduce those symptoms. What is the lymphatic system? The lymphatic system is your body's, I call it the garbage disposal system of the body. You have more lymph fluid in your body than you have blood in the body. So the lymph fluid is the waste coming from your cells, right? It's coming from your, from your tissue. It's coming from your blood. It's the waste material. And the body takes it out of the system and then recycles it. So it's constantly being recycled. Now, the only thing that keeps your lymphatic system healthy and moving is eating a whole food plant-based diet and exercising. So your circulatory system your heart and your veins and your blood, your heart is pumping the blood through your body, right? Over miles and miles and miles and miles of, of blood vessels, it's pumping it through. But the lymph fluid, there's no pump to pump it through. The only thing that keeps this garbage disposal system going and moving and moving and taking the way so that you don't die from toxins, you have to exercise. That is why we always tell you, if you want to maintain health and prevent disease, you've got to stay on the New Start program. Remind me, Dr. Debs, what is New Start? Okay, I will remind you. New Start comes from the Bible in Genesis 1 and 2, and it also comes from the book, The Ministry of Healing by Helen G. White, under the chapter called The Physician and Educator. Get the book and read the book. The Ministry of Healing by Helen G. White. All of you know my story by now. 2012, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Doctor said, cut off the breast, chemo, radiation, hormone therapy for five years. I said, no, I'm going to go to my God and ask my God what to do. That was 2012. I went to the Lord in prayer and the Lord said, Deborah, take the book, The Ministry of Healing. Do what it says and you will be fine. Brothers and sisters, that was 2012. Today, we're in March 2024. I am here alive and well and cancer free simply by following the great physician Jesus Christ instruction with new start. Nutritional whole food plant based diet, exercise, water, sunlight, temperance, air, rest and trust in God. These are the eight laws of health. And also Isaiah 58, you have to have an attitude of gratitude, a spirit of benevolence, helping and giving back to others and cleanliness. Many of us are diseased and sick because of our selfishness. We're so consumed in ourselves that we don't understand that to be a kingdom child, you have to be like the king. Jesus, the son of God, left heaven and came on this wicked planet called earth and died for those who did not even love him. While we were yet in our sins, God died for us. And now we must live to help others come out of your selfishness, come out of the self-absorbed attitude. Isaiah 58 says, when you help others, when you give to the poor, Isaiah 58, God makes it very clear. Your health will spring forth speedily. So I live my life with the principles of the kingdom and I benefit from the king and his wonderful, generous blessings on the planet called Earth. So now, Echinacea, as we continue, it says, use Echinacea internally and externally for acne, bad breath, boils, gangrene, infections, skin diseases, tonsillitis. It is said to be effective against all bites from insects like snake bites or mosquito bites or even if dog bites you, <laughs> right? You just simply make a strong poultice with it and put it over the area. It helps to reduce the poison in the system. It is used for open wounds, painful surface swelling, so you don't have to be going back and forth. Sometimes I pass these clinics in Jamaica and I see all these people with bandage all over them foot and bandage all over them hand. And they keep going to, for, to the doctor, the clinic for dressing and they keep putting steroids and antibiotic dressings and it's not getting better. Especially those who have diabetes. Your wound will not heal if your blood is filled with toxins, right, from what you're eating with your junk food. And then now you add insult to injury by going now and putting chemicals to heal it. It's not going to heal. You have to cleanse the blood 
right? Change your diet and lifestyle, put the echinacea on it, right? And watch the body heal. And there are other herbs that you can use too, like comfrey. You can use the activated charcoal paste and make a, a poultice. Uh, you can use aloe vera on those wounds to heal them up. Chaparral, we spoke about chaparral last week and so many others, right? So echinacea is very good for open wounds and if you have swellings on your body. Now internally, echinacea is used for bladder infection, blood poisoning, it's a blood purifier, it's good for fever, inflammation of the mammary gland, it's an intestinal antiseptic, right? It is excellent for lymphatic congestion. It is excellent for any um, venereal disease and all chronic and acute bacterial and viral infections. So once I'm doing a detox with my patients, they go on echinacea. Once they call me, Dr. Debs, I have flu. I just came back on the COVID um, test says I'm positive. Echinacea, right? Echinacea is one of the herbs I use with them. It has been used for many years for syphilis, for gonorrhea, gonorrhea. And also, ladies, if you have any vaginal infection, you can make a douche from the echinacea tea and just do a, a, do, a, a, a flushing of the vagina, right? With the douche tea. It helps you a lot, right? Combined with myrrh to rid the body of pus, abscess formations, and for thyroid fever. Now, echinacea also aids with digestion and is a excellent digestive tonic did you hear all the marvelous things that god has put in this plant called echinacea for his children we don't have to be suffering from these things just learn to use god's herbs wisely and well echinacea is an excellent antibiotic and it ranks with the golden seed and red clover now all of my listeners and my patients know that dr debs use golden seed and red clover a lot in the program because god has put the elements in these to heal the human body for acute ailments it must be taken every hour or two now when you're going to make a herbal tea um, with the echinacea for any of the illnesses I mentioned above, it comes in many forms. You have the liquid, you have the dried herb, and they have it in capsule also. Now, if you are ill and you want to use echinacea, the general guideline is one teaspoon of the dried herb to eight ounce boiling water. That's a general guideline. You simply boil it for about two minutes and then turn off the stove, let it steep for five minutes and drink four or five cups throughout the day it is non-toxic it can't hurt you but remember if you have these illnesses and you're taking echinacea you can't be dumping the garbage in your body the drunk food the highly processed food the alcohol the smoking and then run to the health food store and buy a herbal tea to fix your body you have to cooperate with god exodus 15 verse 26 god says if thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the lord thy god and do that which is right in his sight and will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes i will put none of these diseases upon thee which i brought on the egyptians for i am the lord that he led thee so we have to be in right standing with god when we say we're going to take god's herb to heal our bodies from these ailments if you get the liquid, then you just simply take a half teaspoon of the echinacea liquid and you just mix it in two ounce water and just drink, drink that three or four times for the day, right? If it's capsules, you can take three or four of the capsules three times a day. Now, if you have a serious ailment and you need more than just a general guideline and echinacea, contact our office, Life Health and Foods Wellness Center. We are at shop number number seven four springvale avenue kingston 10 jamaica the office numbers are whatsapp 876-878-8867 876-326-4650 or 876-306-4280 now i'm telling you from now my office numbers are always busy <laughs> because so many persons are calling what do you do they are whatsapp numbers send a whatsapp message put your name your email address and just type your phone number in the message and say please contact me i wish to make an appointment with dr williams and one of my staff will call you back now the next her herb the eye bright i have seen with my own eyes how efficiently this herb works 
the name indicates what it does it is good for the eyes all that is above ground so we use the entire plant right it's a it's a astringent it's a tonic it is good for the eyes the liver and the blood the herb is called eye bright no internally eye bright is the best single herb for the eyes drink the tea liberally on a daily basis to treat all eye problems it aids in stimulating the liver to clear the blood and relieve those conditions that affect the clarity of vision it relieves discomfort from eye strain or minor eye irritation it is good for itchy and or watery eyes it has a cooling and detoxifying property that makes it especially useful in combating inflammation <coughs> sorry it is also useful with inflammation of the nose and the throat eye bright herb is also useful for allergies diabetes cataract hay fever impure blood indigestion nose and throat congestion and upper respiratory problems externally eye bright is used as an eye wash especially combined with the golden seal fennel it is helpful for eye weakness for burning and sore eyes and other eye diseases the infusion is made using one ounce of the herb to a pint of boiling water um steep for 20 minutes and then you just strain it off a beverage tea can be made using half ounce of the herb steep in one pint of water also i just simply drink it through the day now at the health food store they have the eye bright um eye drop and they have the herb and they also have the capsules so if you're having cataract glaucoma or any eye irritation you can take the eye drop or you can make the tea and if you can't find the eye drop you can make the tea and wash the eyes with the tea very helpful it will not harm you in any way whatsoever remember as you're going through the use of these beautiful herbs that god has given us you've got to stay on the new style program it's your way of life nutritional whole food plant-based diet exercise water sunlight temperance air rest trust in god now please we have a challenge coming up to help you to cleanse and detox your body go to www.drdebshealth.com forward slash detox and you will see our upcoming 10 day uh, detox 10 day detox challenge with strength strength is another acronym for the eight laws of health as in the new start program but i'm using strength as my acronym right now if you want to join that challenge to detox and cleanse your body aren't you sick and tired of being sick and tired this is a perfect place to start with the 10 day detox challenge with strength with dr debs just simply call the office or you can email us at admin at mylifehealthfoods.com if you want additional information but drdebshealth.com forward slash detox has all the information on that website as to how to register which package you want to register for we are starting that challenge april 9th 2024 let us detox together so your body can be in good health for the honor and the glory of god father thank you thank you a thousand times thank you for jesus christ your darling son we thank you for his blood his merits and his righteousness lord jesus we thank you that you have defeated satan and the holy spirit is given back to us you dwelling in us and walking with us jesus christ of nazareth we celebrate you as our king of king and lord of lords may you continue to do your marvelous work jesus as we co-labor with you winning souls for your kingdom bless all the listeners lord bless them with spiritual and physical health for your honor and for your glory in christ's name we pray abba father thank you holy spirit thank you jesus thank you and the angels from heaven who are on the earth protecting us from these demons and the devil and his wicked men and wicked women we thank you for our guardian angels in jesus name we pray and say thank you lord amen amen praise the lord he is worthy to be praised now brothers and sisters remember maranatha christ is coming again stay in your bible bible study is essential for life 
And remember, pray without ceasing. God bless you until we meet again. Bye for now from Dr. Debs.